Hi, my name is Sebastian and this video is about the Juxeras Analyzer, a tool I developed to automatically create a REST documentation for Juxeras projects. Recently the project on GitHub got a bit more attention, mainly because Adam Bean wrote a blog post about it, so Adam, thanks for that. And today I want to show you how the tool works and what it can analyze for you. Imagine you have a JEE project with Juxeras resources and you want to automatically create RESTful documentation for this. So for instance, this one, this one is called Todos application. It's a simple JEE CRUD application which manages tasks or to-dos. It uses Juxeras resource classes, this two here, this one and that one. And for this project, we want to automatically generate a documentation. This project is built by a Maven, and the Juxeras Analyzer Maven plugin can be included in your build to do this job for you. So the Maven plugin in the latest version 0.4 can be easily included, and then will create the output for you. So let's show that. We will now build the project with Maiden and as you will see the Juxeris analyzer will start to analyze the project here and create the output for you which resides on the target Juxeris analyzer and depending on the output format. This one is plain text output and as you can see it is an overview of all REST um, resources with the URLs and the methods and the Java types and the appropriate JSON response is included as well. So here you can see the, the types in Java and how they will look like when they are serialized to JSON either in request or response bodies. And this information here is fully taken by bytecode analysis of your project. The Juxeras Analyzer has several so-called backends, which are different output formats, actually. So we have plain text, for instance, which you just saw, or Swagger for the Swagger UI, which we generate a huge Swagger JSON file, which can be used for Swagger UI tool. Or the latest version, 0.4, also has ASCIIDoc as a backend, so you can use the the documentation in the ASCII-Doc format, which you can then process even further and maybe create PDF or HTML from this. So let's show you the, the Swagger UI. Let's rebuild the project and show you how this output looks like. So as you can see, it now uses a different backend. And the output file Swagger JSON can be used to be included in Swagger UI. And this looks like the following. So this is a more beautiful API documentation web app in HTML and JavaScript, which you can click through and see all the request bodies and response bodies, how they will look like, the different path parameters, the responses and the status code. And as you just saw, this is fully automated and fully generated from your code, from your Juxeras project. This example here has a more simple approach to, um, for the Juxeras resource class. So you just saw that we have simple POJOs which are returned or even the response type from Juxeras. And as you can see here, this information for the response and for the status codes and header fields can only be taken by analyzing the source code here in the method bodies, or actually the bytecode. So there are some tools on the market which analyze Juxeras purely by annotations or reflection, but this information here can't be can't be re retrieved by reflection because you can't get the method bodies. And the response created, which will create 
the status code 201 created and the location header field can only be taken by looking at the method bodies here. And as you will see in the swagger when you look at the correct method post here that it will output 201 created status. And this tool uses a bytecode analysis for this. The first version of the tool started when I wrote my computer science thesis. So this has a more academic background because I developed an algorithm how to backtrack the response type or the return type of methods, how the values where they come from and which methods have been called on the way. And this one is the output from this. So this is really a real world application for that analysis, for that algorithm, how it can be used. Let's show you another example which uses the JSONP API. The JuxRS analyzer can also analyze the JSONP when it will be returned from your response method, from a, sorry, from your resource method. I don't have a JSONP in my project here, so let's look at another project from Adam Bean called Headlands, which uses JDK 1.8 Lambda expressions and JSONP arrays all over extensively here. And you can include the JuxRS analyzer here as well. So let's do that for that project. As you can see here, I already included the JaxRS analyzer with the plain text backend. It will now analyze the project. And let's have a look at the output. As you can see from this method here, the get for all caches, which returns a JSON array, you now see which information is taken here. So this is this method, get caches, and the recent response body is a JSON array, and it also shows you the JSON output. So what does this method do? It has a JSON array builder, and then it iterates via stream of all those objects, calls this method, which will add a JSON object with name, link, and entries, which you can see here, and this is added to a JSON array. So this output is fully taken from your code here. This is fully done via bytecode analysis and all this information is, uh, can be taken here. So it also supports JSONP. And what else is supported are JuxB annotations on your POJOs. So if you have some further configuration how your POJO will be serialized to JSON or XML. You can also take JuxB for JSON actually. It will be taken as well by the JuxRS analyzer. This was the first impression of what the tool can do for you. I hope you enjoyed the video. I would really appreciate your feedback or if you maybe try the tool out on your project. Tell me how it worked, if it worked or even if it worked perfectly. And I would really appreciate if you like and start the project maybe. And yeah, thanks for watching.